Hi friends, uh, let us continue the parallel operation of transformers. Okay, so in the last video, we have derived the equations for SA and SP. Okay, so that means the load shared by the transformer and transformer. V. Okay, so now uh, this is a equivalent circuit we have drawn in the last class, last uh, video. So here, this ZA and ZB are in parallel. Okay, therefore, the voltage across this ZA is equal to the voltage across this ZB. So let us write the voltages. So that is, so IA into ZA is equal to IB into ZB, right? So that means, so if another transformer is there, then IC into ZC. If another transformer is there, then ID into ZD. And that is all are equal and that is equal to some constant. That means if two transformers are considered, okay, okay. So this is this this is equal to some constant. This is equal to the same constant. Okay, both are equal. Okay. So now, so the suppose if the transformer A, okay, having less I A, okay, then I B, okay. So then that means the transformer A having less current, okay, that is less I A, okay. That means this transformer having less K V A rating, okay, than the second transformer, okay. Then Z A should be more, okay. To make it equal to the same constant, understand? That means uh, <clears throat> uh, we can say that uh, this is actually the second point. Okay, this is actually the second point in this. Okay, so the leakage impedance in ohm should be inversely proportional to their respect to KVA ratings. I already told you. So the leakage impedance should be inversely proportional to their respect to KVA ratings. If this is more, this should be less. Understand? Okay, so in other words, so if the transformer having different KVA ratings, okay, if the transformers having different KVA ratings and want to share the load in proportion to their KVA ratings, okay, then the equivalent leakage impedance should be inversely proportional to their leakage, uh, their KVA ratings. Understand? That means if some one transformer having 1000 KVA, first transformer, okay, second transformer 500 KVA, okay. So there is a load of 300 kVA. Okay, so this is more kVA rating. So it has to share 200 kVA. Understand? And it has to share 100 kVA. That means in proportion to their kVA rating. This is the total load in proportion to their kVA ratings. If, if, if this load should be uh, like this, when when uh, let us assume the impedance of this transformer is two. Okay, two ohms then the impedance of this transformer should be 4 ohms understand so inversely proportional to okay ZA is inversely proportional to their KV ratings okay then only the load will be shared okay in proportion to their KV ratings okay this is the meaning I, I hope you understand this meaning clear okay now let us uh, go to the third point okay let us go to the third point x by r ratio okay so in this we will understand this parallel operation okay deeper okay so let us consider the first case okay let us consider the first case ZA equal to ZB okay ZA equal to ZB and X by R of the first transformer is not equal to X by R of the second transformer okay x a by r a is not equal to x b by r v suppose let us assume this is only the uh, desirable condition it's not a necessary condition even the x p r ratios are not equal we can connect the transformers in parallel okay we can connect the transformers in parallel okay here the initial uh, we have assumed a equal to e b that is also applicable here okay we are discussing only equal voltage ratios okay so here z a equal to z b and x by r ratios are not equal okay so if the x by r ratios are not equal then the phase angle of the first transformer and the phase angle of the second transformer are also not equal that means let us draw the phasor diagram let us consider this is v and uh, uh, this is IA the first transformer current is lagging by an angle phi A but the second transformer is IB okay is lagging by an angle phi B understand now the phasor sum of these two that will be the total current I 
अंडरस्टैंड द फेज इज सम ऑफ दीज टू दैट विल बी द टोटल करंट आई हियर जेड ए इक्वल टू जेड बी एंड ई एज इक्वल टू ई बी दैट मीन्स आई ए इज इक्वल टू आई बी अंडरस्टैंड आई ए इज इक्वल टू आई बी हियर आई ए इज इक्वल टू आई बी ओके दैट मीन्स दे शेयर द लोड ओके इन दिस केस द टू ट्रांसफार्मर्स शेयर द लोड इक्वली द टू ट्रांसफार्मर्स शेयर द लोड इक्वली ओके बट द बट द थिंग इज हियर दिस टोटल आई इज द फेजर सम ऑफ दीज टू ओके दिस टोटल आई इज द फेजर सम ऑफ आई ए एंड आई बी इट इज नॉट द अर्धमेटिक सम ओके इट इज नॉट द अर्धमेटिक सम ऑफ दीज टू देर फोर द टोटल के वी ए आउटपुट ओके द टोटल के वी ए आउटपुट इज लेस दैन दी इज लेस दैन दी अर्धमेटिक सम ऑफ दी टू ट्रांसफार्मर्स इज लेस दैन दी अर्धमेटिक सम ऑफ दी के वी ए रेटिंग ऑफ दी टू ट्रांसफार्मर्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके so in this case okay so they share the load equally okay but the kva output is less than the arithmetic sum of the kva rating of the two transformers okay uh, i hope you understand okay that means the first transformer having 500 kva second transformer also having 500 kva but the total output is not 1000 kva okay it is less than the 1000 kva okay but it will share the load equally understand it will share the load equally and the next case okay so the next case is so za is greater than z b okay but x by r ratios are equal okay x a by r a is equal to x b by r b okay but za is greater than z b so we know so i a into za is equal to i b into z b okay so here za is greater than z b that means i a is less than i b understand i a is less than i b that means they share the load in different proportions okay i a will share less load and i b will share more load because i b is greater okay but uh, they have uh, equal uh, phase angles okay that means let us draw the phase diagram let us consider this is v okay and this is i a and i b is also in the same phase because i phi a is equal to phi b but i a is lesser compared to i b understand but the phase uh, but uh, the total uh, current i is equal to the arithmetic sum here because both are in same direction you can say the total current is the arithmetic sum of the these two that means here they don't share the load equally okay they don't share the load equally because i a is lesser than i b but the total output is equal to the arithmetic sum of i a and y b so i hope you understand the difference between the previous one and this one okay so that is the difference okay uh, <clears throat> so here uh, this is the difference okay so here they don't share the load uh, equally okay but the total total output total kv output is equal to the uh, arithmetic sum of the uh, two transformers okay so here uh, the same thing okay the same thing will hum so we already know that the leakage impedance okay leakage impedance is inversely proportional to their kva rating okay we have already explained this one okay so za is equal to za uh, in proportional to 1 by sa so this is the kva rating of the first transformer and zb is proportional to 1 by sb this is the kva rating of the second transformer so za by zb is equal to sb by एस ए ओके सो जेड ए इंटू एस ए इज इक्वल टू जेड बी इंटू एस बी ओके सो नाउ लेट एस डिराइव समथिंग ओके सो जेड ए इंटू एस ए सो लेट एस डिवाइड बै वी स्क्वे दैट इज इक्वल टू जेड बी इंटू एस बी बै वी स्क्वे ओके नौ जेड ए डिवेडेड बै वी स्क्वे बै एस एज इक्वल टू जेड बी डिवेडेड बै वी स्क्वे बै एस बी ओके so <coughs> that means if you observe here this is v square that means v into v and this is sa that is a uh, voltage into current that means one voltage will cancel and here voltage will remain and here current will remain so totally v by i this is a impedance base impedance we call this as a base impedance of the transformer a because sa is considered and this is a base impedance of the uh, transformer b okay because sb is considered here that means za and zb are the actual impedances and here it is a base impedance okay so actual impedance divided by base impedance 
will give you per unit impedance okay there is a definition of per unit quantity per unit quantity is equal to actual value divided by base value understand okay so here it will be ZA per unit is equal to ZB per unit understand so this is also one condition okay so <coughs> that means to share the load in proportion to their KVA ratings so the per unit impedances should be equal the per unit impedances on their own basis okay the per unit impedances on their own basis should be equal okay then the two transformer will share the load equally okay so I think this is a complete uh, 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 concept of the pa pa parallel operation of the transformers okay so unequal voltage ratios is not that much important in the unequal voltage ratios what will happen there is again some extra circulating currents will add to these currents that is the only difference okay so in this case there are no circulating currents because uh, EA equal to EB right so but in the circular uh, in that case okay when the unequal voltage ratios are considered there is some circulating currents are also present okay that is the only difference between these two okay thank you